use it to say uh, to say to uh, characterize our nanoparticles to see what shape the nanoparticles are of. Um, now, how do we use it? That's like more like going through the manual and you know sh oh. or showing you step by step because the whole instrument, the whole column is really under high vacuum. So we have to make sure whatever we do, we don't screw up the vacuum. So when we are inserting the sample, this is the sample holder in here. It can hold up to five samples. But because um, there are these small rings to to plug in our samples and kind of screw it up. So we have four rings working right now. So practically it can go up to four samples. Now, do your are your samples uh, coated in gold or were no, they? No. That's for SEM, we need um, we need conductor samples. Uh -huh. That's when you need to coat it with gold. Here they're just you suspend it in some solvent in which it gets a really good suspension and you just give one or two drops on each of the grids. And what type of nanoparticles um, are they? I have, um, I have some cadmium sulfide and some manganese oxide with me today. You can check pretty much everything. Um, I think the size limit would be uh, TM can go a little uh, higher in magnification as compared to SEM. So we can check with this TM, we can pretty much check anything from 5 nanometer to 100 nanometer or even more. And what size do you think your particles are? Um, I'm expecting something around 20 nanometer. Yeah. And I hope. And what shape are you expecting? We're or? expecting small rod or bipods like socks. And what will you do with these particles? Um, right now, we, we have plans to coat them with gold to see if the optical properties are retained or not once we coat them with gold. So, so that they could then be used in the body? They can be used in a biological system, yeah. Okay. And the gold being inert would, or a noble metal right. would help to protect right. that. Yeah. And um, how long does it take to? get the vacuum where you need it to be once um, you put your samples in? So once you start in the morning, because you're the first user, it takes a little longer. But normally during the daytime, it takes about um, half an hour to get started. And then uh, about how many images do you, do you take? Um, it, it depends on one's expertise, actually. I See, the, the whole thing is, uh, the idea is based on how homogeneous your samples are, and the only way to check that is by going over and over in different areas of the TM grid. So technically, I would like to take eight to 10, sam eight to ten images per sample. And you're using, you said five samples? Four samples. Four samples. Okay, great, thank you so much. Sure. What happens is you have to make sure you don't touch this part. You can you're allowed to touch it in here. Mm -hmm. um, these are these small uh, little holes in here. These actually hold the grids, and, and we have the rings to make it tight. And that's all.